What's going on everyone? In this video, I wanted to quickly highlight a new tool that's come out in the InfoSec community. It's from the creator of Evil Gen X2, which I've got a few videos on. This one's called PwnDrop. This is a file hosting server that you can host all of your red team payloads on, phishing stuff, or it'll fulfill any of your file hosting needs really. It's a really cool tool and it has a few cool features to do some redirections to hide malicious files behind uh, legitimate looking files. So let's try and explain that a little bit better by actually showing you what it does. So you can go on this breakdev.org blog from the creator and it will tell you all about it. Um, the easiest way to go about installing this is firstly spinning up a Linux machine on DigitalOcean which if you look in the description there's a link for get that done. Um, and once that's installed, you want to get yourself a domain name. So as always, I show tryhack.me, which is my domain, and I've pointed the name servers to the IP address of that Linux machine from DigitalOcean. PwnDrop acts as a DNS server as well, so it does all of that for you and does all of your subdirectories and whatnot. It's pretty much a nice automatic tool, so not much manual work involved, which is great. Anyway, let's get to the installation. Go to that blog in the description, you can simply take this bash one liner and pop that into your Linux box. Don't recommend doing this for just any um, any anything on GitHub because that would be very bad, probably likely to get you pwned very quickly, but this is a reputable guy so I don't mind doing it here and it's a Linux box that I don't use too much. Anyway, so that's started and you can see that's all installed perfectly fine. You wanna to go to the user local and PwnDrop directory because that's where things are stored and this PwnDrop ini file is the configuration file. All you really need to do right now is know your IP address so do ifconfig take that and we're going to be popping this into the configuration file so just nano into PwnDrop.ini and you want to be putting the listen IP as your IP address. That's all the configuration required does everything else for you it's amazing. Okay so now we're just going to restart that so it uses the config file. So you want to go pwn drop stop and pwn drop start. That's now started the file hosting server and we can go to it using the domain name that I've got, which is tryhack.me slash pwn drop. So it leads you to this create account page. So we just went to slash pwn drop. You need to change that later on because if someone goes to that link, they'll also be able to create users. So the first thing we need to do is create a user. I'm going to create a user called Dave. Doesn't match. There you go. And create the an account and that allow you to now log in. So let's just log in as that user. I'm not good at typing this password out. And this is what the Pwn Drop user interface looks like. So. If you go to settings, this is how you change that secret path of PwnDrop. Definitely do that because if anyone goes to this page, again, they can make a user and they can download and play with all your files. Not something you want to do. This redirect URL. So if anyone goes to tryhack.me that's not supposed to, they'll be redirected to this URL. So for example, let me just take this URL and go into an in private browser. tryhack.me is going to redirect you to that YouTube URL, which I'm not going to wait for it to load, it's Rick Roll. Carrying on. So now we can actually upload something and see what this is all about. So to do that, there's a few use cases why you want to use this potentially. The first is just to upload a legitimate tool that you might want to put on a host. So WinPiece, for example, which is a privilege escalation searching tool. Just go ahead and upload that, it uploads, it gives you a link to WebDAV download it or HTTP download it. So if you click that HTTP link, it'll copy it. And if we go to the uh, page that we just went to here with the Rick Roll still going, you can now see that it's just downloaded the WinPs down there. There you go. Just go ahead and get off this now. Next up, well actually no, still continuing on this, if we go to the change file settings, you can also see that you can rename the file, you can change the MIME type, and you can also change the path. These are all cool features that you might want to do in the future. Um, next up is a phishing type upload. So say you want to upload a file that looks legitimate to send to a user and then redirect them to a malicious file to download, you can do that. 
So go with upload. We're going to upload the friendly hello.txt and without doing anything, if you just copy that HTTP link and if I open it, I'll show you that it just looks like a friendly file. Absolutely nothing dodgy to see here. However, if you go ahead into the settings, we can upload a file it's going to be redirected to. So for example, this openme.doc, this is a macro enabled file that I want someone to download. So then when they open it, they might be pwned. Um, this is a dot doc. So obviously the mime type here is text plain. That's not what you want. So you can go on Google and have a look at mime types. We're a dot doc. So let's just go ahead and take this mime type and put that into here. Save that. Turn facade facade mode on using this here. You'll see that it highlights. If we copy that file link again, you'll see that it no longer goes to that friendly hello.txt despite the link actually showing that, like so. It's gonna download that macro file, which you can see here. I can't even see it on my screen, but yeah, there you go. If you, so if I open that, you'll see it on a, another screen, actually. Let me just drag that over. This is what it's downloaded. So not that text file at all. So overall, it's a really cool tool. Lots of features at the moment and lots of features that are planned in the future. For example, uh, SMB downloads, which would also allow you to take uh, password hashes from users that are downloading. So I think this is gonna be a big tool to look out for in the InfoSec community in the very near future. It's gonna be very useful for Red Team or any type of engagements. And I really recommend just downloading and having a play with it. So anyway, yeah, that's Pwn Drop. Thanks for watching, guys. Give us a like and a subscribe. Hope you enjoy the tool. Uh, shout out to the guy that made it. His blog is here, breakdev.org. Of course, you can find that on GitHub as well. Thanks for watching. See you later.